Hey everybody, Ken Sadkunam from North Star Technology Group. And today I'm going to talk about four common cyber liability insurance myths. Now, as the world moves increasingly online, so do the risks of our business increase. And cyber insurance is one way to help protect our businesses from some of the bad things that could happen. Cyber insurances can be beneficial to cover financially some of the costs relating to covering recovery data, uh, legal proceedings that you might encounter, obviously communication, notifying stakeholders or potential people that you had to notify about data breaches and, and ultimately maybe restoring identities of those affected. Um, but due to the complexity of cyber liability insurance, there are a lot of myths out here that we off, honestly um, hear on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and myth number one is, well, um, all I need then to protect my business is, is insurance, right? Well, this could be further from the truth, right? Your insurance provider will only cover your business in the effect of a breach, right? If you've met certain requirements, right? <clears throat> and what we're starting to see is that these requirements are getting longer and longer. In March of 2021, common cyber liability insurance application was about three pages by the end of the year it was nearly 11. Uh, insurance companies are tired of being the banks and so they want to make sure that you guys are doing all the necessary cybersecurity controls to, to prevent um, and mitigate the issues when they do come up um, myth number two is i don't need cyber insurance then if i have all of these cybersecurity controls in place again also um, uh, not true right um, Obviously, cybersecurity solutions will boost your defenses, but they don't make you immune to cyber liability um, or incidents or breaches that occur. Obviously, they do reduce your risk, um, but there is not one organization that can completely guarantee that they will never have a breach. Right? You may drive safely, right? Drive a safe car, but you still get car. You still have insurance to your car, right? Because you never know what might happen. Um, additionally, of course, human error. Uh, can result in vulnerabilities or a system that you can't sometimes always necessarily control. Uh, myth number three, cyber insurance is easy to get. Well, as technology advances, so do the occurrences of cyber incidents. And with small businesses being common targets, um, it is becoming increasingly difficult and more expensive right, for organizations to get policies. Um, we're starting to see policies double, triple in, um, in costs in the number of carriers that will cover or underwrite certain customers that we help support is getting is getting smaller and smaller. And finally, myth number four, if I have a cyber insurance policy, I'm guaranteed that my claims will be reimbursed in case there's an incident. Well, a couple of things on this. Um, first, it's a common misconception. Right. That in the in the event of a breach or an issue, right, the insurance company comes up and gives you writes you a check right away. Often that's not the case. Um, you have to demonstrate, of course, that you're providing all the necessary controls in place. Um, and that if you can't prove that you complied with the requirements of your cyber liability insurance provider, um, your claim may not get um, paid, right? So we highly re recommend working with an IT provider, right? To help make sure that you filled out your cyber liability insurance application the right way work with an IT provider to ensure that all of those things that are being required right by your insurance carrier are actually being done. <clears throat> Love to talk to you more. Give me a call.